Uh, this is a part from my friends at Sunpea in China. Let's see what we got. Let's take it outside real quick. They did a stunning job. Uh, vapor polishing and I think a little bit of hand polishing too. Yeah, I mean they really knocked this out of the park. Okay, one Chinese spot review. Everyone knows the rules. Got my print here. It's a very basic drawing. I usually send them a drawing, also a step file, just some kind of CAD model. So the company that made this is a prototyping company in Guangdong, China. It's called Sunpi, and I've been working with them like professionally and personally for like I don't know six years. In this video, I'm going to go through, check some dimensions. Okay, so we're going to aim for 48 millimeters. Let's check these 10 millimeter dowel holes. Right on. <clears throat> Those two are a little bit tight. You should go right in. It is a beautiful part, for sure. Let's see what they got here. 
56 millimeters. 55.9. So, Alright. 7.62. Let's check this hole here. 7 millimeters. Not critical, but it's, it's nearly there. So all in all, after reviewing this part, it's mostly within spec. Just the main problem here is this bore. And I really think, you know, this is not the type of job you would get a prototyping company like Sun P to do. Um, this is something you get a, a machinist that's going to really dedicate, um, you know, some time to it. He's going to make sure he sets it up properly and, and checks as he goes. Um, this company is more, you know, you send them a drawing, send them a model, they get it done quick, knock it out. And it's going to be pretty accurate, especially if you're doing aluminum or steel, something of that sort. But to do acrylic, you know, this is a kind of a longish feature to, to nail down to a kind of a tight tolerance here for a diameter. But I would assume that could be a little bit tough to get to, especially when you have to polish it afterwards, which is going to remove more material. The shape it has, it's kind of like barrel shaped. In the center, it's opened up. I think it was about 48.12 millimeters in the center and then 48.02, 48.08 millimeters. Really it's hard to say what happened. It seems like maybe they, they were milling it with a, a boring head and then it actually opened up in the middle for some reason. I'm not sure actually what's going on with it. But yeah, I still wouldn't hesitate to use this company Sunpee. Um, I mean, they've always done well, especially on like bearing fits, things like that, that have to be very tight interference fits. Never had an issue with production runs with them. Just this one part, I don't know what the issue is. It has to be the material. But then again, these dowel holes are pretty much perfect. They, I mean, they fit, you know, no problem. You know, it's a tight fit, which is what you want but not excessively tight. I mean, the bottom is pretty tight. I'll open those up. But, all right, thanks for watching.